did the lab do differently from what other people were doing at the time? I simply made things that worked. Nearly 25 years ago, Draper Laboratory joined with the NAE to establish the Draper Prize as a way to honor the legacy of our founder, Dr. Charles Stark Draper. Doc was the consummate engineer and inventor who in his long career as a professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT pioneered the application of gyroscopes. First for stabilized gun sites in World War II and later for precise vehicle positioning through inertial navigation. He was responsible for the first transcontinental inertial only flight of an airplane and the guidance system that took man to the moon during the Apollo program. He was undeniably a leader in his field and his innovations transformed the 20th century. Engineers seek to impact society, but they don't necessarily seek fame and fortune. More often than not, a technology's true impact on society is not recognized until decades after its development, when it is taken for granted as part of our daily routine. As a measure of true engineering success, Doc understood that. But you will find it in commercial vehicles, on the land, in the sea, in the air, and in space. And I'm also, I believe, on firm grounds if I say that 10 years from today, uh, inertial guidance will be such an ordinary thing that it will not be even remarked by the people who are using it. The Draper Prize honors engineers who have demonstrated a similar level of accomplishment in their own respective fields. It seeks to publicly recognize those whose work has impacted daily life and significantly improved the well-being and freedom of humanity. The awarding of the Draper Prize takes place during National Engineers Week, the main purpose of which is to recognize engineering accomplishments and attract today's students to the profession. The timing further celebrates Doc's legacy as we work to inspire future engineers by sharing the stories of our recipients with the world. Doc was a great educator who trained generations of students at MIT. His belief that engineering education needed a hands-on component led him to establish the instrumentation laboratory within MIT's aero department. In 1973, the instrumentation lab divested from MIT to create the independent, not-for-profit Draper Laboratory that today is recognized as a world leader in guidance, navigation, and control. Doc's ultimate goal was to solve the nation's most challenging technical problems. Since his death, Draper Lab has built on his vision of demonstrating first-of-a-kind solutions to these challenges. We've continued his hands-on approach, but expanded our capabilities beyond guidance systems. We now produce functioning prototype solutions for problems in domains ranging from space and security to healthcare and energy. We pioneered the development of microelectromechanical systems, or MEMS, designing the world's most accurate MEMS gyros and accelerometers. Staying true to Doc's legacy, we've applied that same technology to innovations in chemical sensors and tissue engineering, and we've become world leaders in vanishingly small electronics, autonomous systems, and biomedical engineering. On behalf of Draper Laboratory, I'd like to congratulate this year's winners of the Draper Prize. We celebrate your accomplishments and hope that this award contributes to your own engineering legacy.